Welcome to the fifth video of this six video series on systems of linear equations and three variables. Here we'll look at an application. Here's an example. Read this as it appears on your screen. Now, first a word about the title applications for this video. An application is generally a way that we could apply math to real life. And there are tons of examples at a much higher level in science that show an amazing way that mathematics applies to real life. But at the medium level of mathematics, which is kind of where we are in this video, we're not at the top levels yet, the examples that we have to look at in order to practice using the algebra seem really silly. If Bob, Jim, and Sally were cousins and you wanted to know how, Sally, how old Sally was, I suppose you could just ask her parents or text somebody. So I don't want to, I don't want this example to make the point that Oh, look at these great things you could use math for in real life, because that's ridiculous. But practicing algebra and mathematics on silly problems like this gets you ready for the more complicated scientific applications that you may one day have to do. That being said, let's find out how old Sally is. When I'm given a problem like this, I like to create variables to represent the people. So I could use J for Jim, B for Bob, and S for Sally. Or to be consistent with this video series, I could let X be Bob's age, Y be Jim's age, and Z be Sally's age. It doesn't matter what letters we choose, so I'm going to choose X, Y, and Z for no particular reason, other than that's the kind of problems that we're solving lately. But what I want to do now is I want to make an equation out of every fact that is given to me in these problems. Well, almost every fact. I can't make an equation out of the fact that the three of them are cousins. But I can make an equation out of this fact. Read it to yourself one more time. That converts algebraically into the statement z equals 3x plus 1. Convince yourself, even hitting pause if you have to, that that English sentence and that mathematical sentence are the same. Moving on to our second fact, Sally is one year younger than Bob and Jim put together. That mathematically converts into this statement. Convince yourself, hitting pause if you need to, that the English and mathematical sentences presented there are the same. By the way, a note about the one year younger, if Sally is one year younger than Bob and Jim put together, I would have to add one to Sally's age to get it to equal Bob and Jim's total. That's the logic on that equation. And here's our third fact, the sum of their ages is 33. That's pretty easy to convert the math, x plus y plus z equals 33. But when you're given a, quote, real life situation, you want to convert into equations using variables that you created. Notice there's no x, y, or z in this problem at all. We created those variables as a way of translating English sentences into math sentences. Okay, now one key in solving applications like this is once you've created your system of equations with the variables that you also created, take your brain out of the, quote, real life problem. Once you've created that system, you don't want to think about Bob, Sally, or Jim. 
You just want to focus on the mathematics, and that's what we're going to do now. Now, how do you solve this system of equations for x, y, and z? Well, for that, you could go back to video two or three or four. I'm going to use the techniques of video two, substitution. So I'm going to solve any equation for any variable. You may recall this from video two if you saw that. Well, we already have an equation solved for z, so I'll use that. Next in the process of substitution, you want to substitute that result into the other two equations. And by other two, I mean the two that we haven't used yet. Notice each of these equations has a z in it. I'm going to replace each z with a 3x plus 1. And now we have a very messy system here, but notice there are no z's in this bottom two lines creating a system of equations. And so if I can clean these up algebraically, I'll have a two variable system that I can solve rather easily. So this equation cleans up into 2x plus 2 equals y. If you'd like to hit pause and analyze the details, there they are. The second messy equation cleans up into 4x plus y equals 32. Again, hit pause if you want to see all the details slowly. And what we have now is a two variable system of equations that we can focus on as if it were a brand new math problem. So I'm going to solve that system next. I think to solve this system, I'm going to use substitution again, because notice the top equation tells me an expression for y. Read backwards, it says y equals 2x plus 2. So I'm going to take my second equation, the one I'm not using in my equation solver, a single variable, and replace y with 2x plus 2. And now I have a single equation in one variable that I can solve for x. It turns out x ends up being 5. If you like to see every nitty-gritty detail, hit pause and examine that. So what does x equals 5 mean? Wouldn't we normally at this point plug that back in and solve for y and z and complete the system of equations? Well, we could do that. But remember, x, y, and z represent things in real life in this particular case. So x equals 5 means that Bob is 5. Of course, the question is, how old is Sally? Remember, we arbitrarily chose z to represent Sally's age. And so I think all I need to use is the top equation, the very first equation from my original system. Because since it says z equals, and Sally's age is represented by z, then this equation is going to tell me exactly how old Sally is. Plugging in 5 for x, or Bob's age, ultimately gets me Sally's age, which is 16. It's worth noting here we never found out how old Jim was, but that wasn't the question anyways, and if we wanted to, we certainly could, using the other equations. Okay, that more or less completes the video, except for one final comment. If you're in a mathematics course, you're going to be asked to solve many different types of applications. And this one single problem that you viewed here will not, more than likely, look anything like what you're given in a math class. This problem was given just to provide you with the basic concept of how to solve an application using a system of equations. You're given a bunch of sentences in English. You pick variables to represent those sentences. Then you create equations, mathematical equations, out of those sentences. And then you use the ordinary mathematics to solve those and then interpret your results in terms of the original problem. And that completes the fifth video in this series.